Hey yo, before we start today's video, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all of you. You guys rock. We've been getting orders in like crazy and I am getting them out as fast as I can. If you haven't checked out www.driftawaygarage.com, you're doing something wrong. I literally got five orders so I'm about to take out. I took out a few this morning. Like I said, you guys are the best and I owe you the real. Thank you so much. Now to today's video. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. We're doing some more BMW E36 content coming to your screens right now. Um, we're just gonna start wrapping it up. Some of you may have met Brandon before in the previous videos. If not, he's coming up tomorrow to bring me my hood my headlight, and I think one more thing. Oh yeah, Andy's bringing me a turbo outlet for the SR. So that's the final pieces. Literally, dude is bringing the final pieces for two of these cars to be like, wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. But I went ahead, some of you might notice, if you do, that's crazy awesome because you must pay attention. Put a toe strap on it. Definitely gonna need that. Got red to match the car. Got a red jack to match the car. Red colon tubes to match the car. Red Mishimoto for the intake. And I even got a red fire extinguisher. We're going for a red theme if you haven't noticed. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to put an aftermarket wheel. I like having like one wheel work for all of them. So I went ahead and I got that eBay special. That bull boost performance. Let me tell you. All right, but anyways, this wheel's super easy to take out. It was two screws in the back. They are specialty bits. You probably have them already for your car. I think they were the 25 or 27, one or the other. You know what it's all about. So I got a 16 millimeter socket, and you're just gonna put it on here. So I don't want to remove it all the way because it might be loose or it might be hard to get the wheel off. So I'm going to back it up a little bit, give the wheel a little bam, bam, and hopefully it'll get break loose. And then I can take the wheel off. We'll go ahead and put the bull boost performance on. And yeah, so big thing, make sure your wheel is straight. Unless your car is like completely out of line, then make sure your wheel is straight because yeah, that's pretty important. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and break this knot loose and I'll catch you guys up after I take the wheel off. So fun fact, like 95% of this stuff that I show you, I've, I've never done. Like I've done this in a 350, an S13, an S14, like Nissan's all across the board. BMW, never done. So I'm, I'm, I'm approaching it with similar tactics, right? Bolt out and Wow, it comes right off. Imagine that. Let me uh, let me find the wire and disconnect it. I went ahead and zipped this on. Not too proud with how I did it, but it's on. Um, I don't think this is going anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead, take the NRG quick release, put that side on, and then put this, and then go grab a wheel. So yeah, just need the one side from this, so super cool. All right, and just like that, with six wee little bolts, we got a quick release hub. Let me go over there. Now, all we gotta do is go ahead, grab a wheel, and cross our fingers that it's on straight, and it's on good, and the hub's on good. Cause I don't know, I just feel like this eBay one fucked it all up. Here we go. Yeah, we're good. good to go, baby. So, the man, the myth, the legend is here. He brought my turbo outlet for the S13, my passenger side headlight, that's noise, and he claims this hood Gee. is mini. Oh my God. Holy shit. Dude, it's actually really nice. Yeah. Holy shit. Yo, that's a fucking hood right For there. Bucks. For 70 bucks. Stolen. <laughs> yeah. So I got ahead of myself. Well, I should say we got ahead of ourselves. I just like throwing things together. But got the hood on, got the one headlight in. 
went ahead i got to drill out the holes a little bit bigger for the rods coming through but this is my first time putting on the hood latches don't know how to do it i'm just gonna try and follow the line of the hood on both sides hopefully a bing bang boom it works and we're good to go so we got a body saw and a dremel i think i like the dremel better brandon might like that better but we are yeah going ahead and cut these open i think they're pretty lined up now that i'm looking at it i think they're a little crooked let's find another hood <laughs> yeah i ain't too worried about it <laughs> Now that I am looking at it, though, it does look crooked as hell. But, yeah, we're going to trash the hood. So, I mean, it's black on black, so it really ain't going to be that noticeable. Stand back here. It's actually really bad if you stand back here. It's not terrible. It's like this one is a little More. that way. Yeah. It needs to come back a little bit. Do you think it's that noticeable? I don't know, drop a comment down below. Is it noticeable? I don't think it is. All right, so it's official. The BMW build is wrapped for this event, at least on Sunday. Got a fully done BMW. Hood looks good, everything looks good. Super happy. Super happy with the results. I mean, it's, it's looking good full leather and this is how you build a bmw e36 within the, a week <laughs> one week and she done can't really tell but richard's house is a really big hill and i told jeffy to bomb this backwards let's see if he got it i just have a really bad feeling about this well i have a really good feeling but a really bad feeling that he's in. Bomb it. Bomb it, dude. Come on, bomb. <laughs> I want to see no brakes, straight bomb, dude. <laughs> it's been like a couple days since the last clip. I apologize. Ended up taking the BMW down the road and yeah, she got some leaks. So, first trouble here, get a light on it for you. Can you follow it down, right? So follow the red, boom, down in there, right? Like right there. So I went ahead and put an O-ring on it and it's still just kind of floppy going in and out so i ordered a new piece for that so the beamer project's kind of at a standstill now kind of bummed about that but it's time to change the fluids transmission fluid differential fluid weld the differential and double check the coolant make sure that's bled power steering so fluids 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 but in the meantime the other day brandon bought me this part i don't know excess power sounds like american chinese metal but it has these two holes right here that's going to be a bad exhaust leak. There was like a spacer thing on it, but unfortunately the spacer doesn't fit in my T28 ball bearing turbo. So, the welder's back on and we're about to give it hell. Wish me luck. Do you guys hear the sound of that? It's another one. <laughs> Yeah, dude, those back wheels are actually kind of balling. All right, first looks. Back window, Dom said it flew out 35 miles per hour. It didn't even crack, it got a couple scratches. But this is what the LS is gonna go in. Here, I'll give you a nice look from the window. <laughs> so he wants to do this car since it has no wires. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And another thing was- These wheels are balling. I know, I like them. I like the fit, man. A fucking monkey. Did anybody see that? This monkey. This man's a monkey. <laughs> so he got it open, and it's another one with no trunk. It's for a fuel cell. It doesn't have a tank. Yeah. Oh man. But I'm going fuel cell. Hey, you got a free screwdriver. Because the M3. <laughs> you went to grab. <laughs> Low car challenge. So 
I actually made some room because not only did we need room, but this car's been here for 20 seconds and yeah, we're already, we're already digging into her. So a lot has changed. I don't know if it's because I got a coop or what, but all of a sudden Dom wants the us to go to coop. <laughs> coop life, baby. So if you haven't seen the video of us putting this together, definitely go back. I'll put it like up here somewhere. If I forget to, just go to it. But yeah, this is a aluminum block 5.3 with ZF transmission. It got the PMC adapter. He's doing front facing headers because he got this big Johnny right there. I think it's 76 millimeter. Is that 76? Yeah, that's 76 millimeter. So yeah, that's going into this coupe right there. And then some of you may be asking, yo, what's up with that K KT? Like, yo, that's going to the right-hand drive Silvio. So if you're not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button because there's ton of con tons of content coming to the screen. But back to this. We got a Schwarz too. <laughs> Is that actually the stock color? Schwarz blue. Um, no. I think it's close to that, but I don't think that. Why does it look like it was painted with the same paint that's in your coupe in the back? I don't know. Doesn't that's it? Like Doesn't it? <laughs> And just like that, boda bang, 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 boom, she in. Uh, literally, it's just laying in there. We got a lot to do. We're gonna put the trans mount on it. Bolt the ZF so trans. Much space <laughs> between those headers. I didn't for know activities. That. So much space for activities. Uh, we don't have motor mounts, so it's just gonna sit on you know, the pan for now. We are gonna bolt up the transmission just so the transmission's in there, and then we're gonna swap the angle kit from the car in the back. But yeah, that's that's good. Also, last night Dom and I did some work on the S13. Little S13 update, the hot side is back on. Woot woot, so now just need to add coolant and literally tune it, and we should be good for a street car this summer. Yeah, street car is weird saying. Yeah. So. For those of you that missed the video, I turned that S13 into a street car. It's being retired. Here's my new E36 coupe. Shout out to Tay Tay for the sticker. So Dom and I were looking at the chassis just to see like if it was good or not. Like, you know, to see the condition because we plan on painting it, right? And we found a $3 patch job right here. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, the body's good. Guess I'll give you another little full tour. Those wheels are baller, 11 inch wide. Those are baller. Yeah. Rep as hell. <laughs> the rep of reps. Sticker's pretty cool. Jeff for, Jeff for Jacek. Yeah, Jacek. Oh killed. yeah, that was a kid that got killed. Huh. So I was looking inside these. I don't know, there's like a dagger thing. It's pretty crazy looking. Figured I'd catch you guys up. It's a new day in the lab and yeah, I'm already shaved. I don't know, I like this look. Better than the beard, to be honest. But I went ahead and I ordered this on Amazon. It's for an LED wiring harness, but I am using it for my fan. So this like comes with it already wired up. It's like 14 bucks, super cheap. And it comes with the 50 amp re relay. I did though, I don't like how it says LED light bar. So I actually ordered a engine fan switch so I can replace that but yeah it's like going to be super easy I need to go ahead cut these ends off put a different end on so I can put these on and then I'm gonna run it down here there's a plug down here I'm gonna run it under the dash and then there's switch in the center console right in front of right next to the cigarette lighters where I'll put the button so I went ahead and I got my fans wired up. I put the ends on that, ran the wire up along here. I got my positive going here, negative going there. There's a rubber grommet down there. So I'm running the switch through there. I went ahead, turned the key on and let's see if it works. Holy shit. So this fan is no joke. There's, there's a lot of air coming out of it actually. 
So I went ahead and I put the engine fan switch on. Let's see if it works. Damn, it like vibrates the car. That's a good, uh, that's a good fan there. All right, guys, it's been a couple days. I apologize, been super busy. I just wanna give a quick shout out to Curly and Courtney. I'm going to be officiating their wedding coming up in like 30 days. And we just had the bachelor party. So super sick weekend, was well worth it. But we are now back in the garage. I went ahead, hit this with acetone. I'm just going to do a spray paint paint job for now. This car eventually is gonna get completely redone. Some of it's wrapped, some of it's cage one, some of it's gloss black. So I'm just gonna hit this with some Rust-Oleum gloss black. I just really wanna drive it. I don't care what it looks like for now. I have the BMW, I have the 350Z, and this is gonna be on the road here pretty soon. If you don't know what this is, you should probably hit the subscribe button. That is a lot of content coming to this car pretty soon. So I'm gonna go ahead, look it over one last time. It's not shiny, it's dull. It might look still shiny, but I promise this is dull. I scotch bright and hit it with Ajax a bunch of times. So it's finally ready to get primered. So I'm gonna hit it with some primer and then I'm gonna go ahead, let that dry. I might wet sand it depending on how it turns out. And then I will hit it with some gloss black. So let me go ahead, put the camera down and start painting. All right guys, it's a new day. I ended up finishing the paint job just now. Wrapped up for the day yesterday. Shout out to Jeff. Happy birthday, Jeff. But back in the lab, and we just got a fresh coat of gloss black. It's looking good. Uh, first off, this is KBD, so it's super, super weird to paint because it is flexible. But if you do it right, it should come out good. So now, just let it dry. Probably gonna need a while to dry. It literally is starting to look like glass. Depending on how it comes out, I might hit it with 3000 grit and then you know, buff it. We'll see what it looks like. Um, but I am super happy with the results. I've never painted the bumpers before like in this depth. This car is going to be getting a whole new paint job. I'm gonna keep running the S13, 50 shades of black until I'm done with the S14. I really wanna do this right. I don't wanna rush it. I wanna take my time and then whenever this is done, the S13 is going to be getting a complete makeover. I'm happy I got this BMW because it allows me more time to do what I truly want to do to these cars. Wow, I can just drift the BMW, no worries. And I can wreck it. Well, I don't want to wreck it, but I can wreck it without being worried about the situation because the S13 and the S14 and the 350Z and everything else is safe here at home and not on the track. I'm going to go ahead now. Dom's out back. It's raining. He's trying to take the front uh the front subframe and everything off of his donor car to put it on the new hoonigan car the baby blue car so i'm gonna go outside get rained on with him and i'll catch you guys up out there oh yeah check it out so the sun's out and it's raining where's the rainbow there it is there it is boy i honestly don't think i've ever seen both ends of the rainbow and like like look you can see both ends of the rainbow in one picture frame. All right, enough rainbows and shit. We are back to work. Rain is, seems to hold up. No more rainbows, you can see. Rain, clear skies, clear blue skies are here. LS is a little moist. But this car, this car right here went from the drift car to the donor car real quick. Dom stole the SLR angle kit off of this and the BC coils. They are now going on to the blue Hoonigan car. I know I keep saying Hoonigan car. This is the baby blue, light blue Hoonigan car, whatever I call it for the day. Beamer number 97,000. And yeah, it's looking good. So, oh, Andy put the window in, holy shit. <laughs> no more getting wet so yeah this is the slr kit right here it's purple looks fancy how about these bc coils literally have 10 miles on them and just sat and that's what uh 10 miles and sitting looks like so bc needs to up their uh up their powder coat or something 
thousand bucks for that my max piston rods don't even look like that also drop a comment down below if you run this slr kit or a different kit dom is going to get wizards of luck for his next kit and i'm just getting uh shoot i can't even think of it it's like fap oh e-factory i'm getting the e-factory kit but i heard that some chinese man copied it it's on ebay called the fapo kit for 500 might try the ebay specialty we might not also we found out the hard way a sedan hood does not fit a coupe note to self